So after a two week break, Rans in the Spotlight is back. And if you're new to the series, Rans in the Spotlight is basically me taking a look at a recently released indie game on Xbox or PS4 and talking about what I liked and what I didn't like. This week, I'm going to be taking a look at Air Memories of Old, which released this week on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. It is developed by Forgotten Key and published by Dedelic Entertainment. It retails for $15, and the publisher was kind enough to send over a key for the purpose of this review. So what exactly is Air Memories of Old, and did I enjoy the game? Well, Air is a kind of a combination of Journey meets Rhyme with a little bit of Abzu added in. It is an exploration game. You play as a female protagonist, Ayuk. She is of the People of the Sky Clan. And your general aim of the game is to discover what happened to the world and what your place is in it. Now you notice when you start up the game that there are a bunch of islands scattered across the the uh, world. And the world is fairly big for an indie title and you do explore it. And how do you explore it? Well in Abzu, you know how you swung, you swam with the fishes to get to the next areas. It was an underwater based adventure game. Air is a sky based game so you can transform at will into a bird. And you have pretty basic controls while you're controlling the bird. Uh, X will flap your wings. The bumpers will kind of like steer your, uh, bank your bird in certain directions and right trigger will slow it down. And that is how you basically go about discovering, uh, hopping to islands to islands to kind of explore this world and find out what happened. You also have a lantern that you can bring up and will highlight these ghosts and some of them will give you backstory about the game. Now, when you start off, the game gives you basically no direction. It is kind of explored at your own pace. And for me, I did get lost in the very beginning of the game. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. So I'm going to let you guys know that where you start off in the game, there is a settlement in town. Uh, and you can always come back to this settlement and you can talk to the people there, the NPC characters. And they will give you little hints about where you should go. And the basic story just is that you are to go to these three temples to obtain this key to fight off the void that is threatening to destroy this beautiful world. Um, and it is beautiful. I really like the simplistic design, the kind of simple polygonal structures that it has, but the bright, vivid colors. Some area will have sunsets uh, with the green and the orange that really you know, contrast each other, but then the further north you get, uh, you'll start seeing snowfall, and then you get into an area that is completely covered in snow. It is a really good looking game. I really enjoyed kind of flying around and, and in looking into each of the corners, you know, of the world. And also, one of the standout features of the game is the soundtrack. The soundtrack to this game is very good. Uh, very, very good. Like, I always kind of had a smile on my face. I was flying around searching for the clues to where the next temple was and that just great kind of just relaxing music is playing. And that's what this game is. It is relaxing. You search at your own pace. There is no threat of dying. There are no enemies to fight. It is an exploration game where you just try to discover what happened to the world. And the basic setup is you go around, you find out where you need to go by talking to the townspeople they'll tell you to go to the east or they'll tell you to go to the west or they'll tell you to go to the north and you'll come to this thing well you'll see a pillar of light in the sky and that's kind of your hint of okay i need to go here you pick up the keys that open the temple and then you go down into the temple to get the main uh, key that you came for and the temple um things change a little bit you no longer can change into a bird and it basically becomes a basic platformer slash puzzle solver game. Now, the game is the puzzles in the game aren't very uh, difficult. They won't take you very long to solve. And the game itself is also very short. I believe I finished the game in about two and a half to three hours. 
uh, trying to search through all the different areas. And I, I found most of the achievements, which I should mention, this game is also an easy thousand for those of you out there, an easy platinum for the PlayStation fans. You'll get about four or five achievements for just beating the game. And the other achievements and trophies are for basically finding certain spots and certain areas within the world itself. Whether it's a statue of a bird, whether it's a colony of crabs, you can just go find those uh, and you'll get those. So it's a completely easy completion and platinum, so I definitely recommend it if you are looking for that. But I really enjoyed this, enjoyed this game. Um, I enjoyed the whimsical nature of it. It's a very simple, elegant, yet impactful experience, at least for me. I, I could tell this was a passion project from the developers, so I, I felt it was really heartfelt. You know, I was, even though the storytelling is hit and miss, a lot of it is given through text, uh, through tablets you find, which you have to explore, so it's not overtly told to you. So you could go through the game and not really know what is going on, you know, because there's no dialogue and stuff, and, and you have to f search to find out those, the, the backstory. Um, I think that's kind of the one negative there, that, that the game is short and it doesn't really throw the story in your face you have to find it but what is there you know the the simple structure the simple polygons with the vivid colors that really refreshing music the simple platforming with basic puzzle solving like it all came across as just a passion project by a, a few people at a studio that i really enjoyed sure it's not as good as rhyme and it's not as good as journey or abzu but it's right there and i really appreciated my two and a half to three hours I spent with the game you know I'm going back in it to, to get to finish the completion but I honestly recommend this game to anybody out there who enjoys those games I mentioned if you're a fan of rhyme if you're a fan of journey you owe it to yourself to kind of pick this game up and experience this beautiful game where you fly around and try to figure out what happened to this world right now it's a little bit expensive at $15 uh, if you're not into these kind of exploration games, then I would wait for a sale at 10 But if you are into these type of games, like I am, uh, if you are looking for a quick three-hour experience that'll bring a smile to your face or a quick completion, I recommend it for $15. I honestly do. I, I think it's a really, really fun, heartfelt game. And that's why I'm going to give the game an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed my time with it. Uh, pick it up if you're a fan of these type of games. But if you're not, just wait for a sale. I'm sure it'll be on sale at some point and you can experience it for yourself. It is very good and uh, I really enjoyed this charming experience from Air Memories of Old. Anyways guys, that is the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later guys.